Hello guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 68 of A Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai, but before starting this video I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me and join me in this... Uh, Super amazing adventure. Okay, in the previous episode, I don't even want to comment this because it was one of the best episodes ever. But anyway, let's see what's going to happen now after Pop's power releasement. Are you ready to join me with this? Check it out. Yes, Pop is shining. The boy, I take this one. You couldn't stop them. Mama, what do you think uh, this time? Oh, yes, let's go. Come on, Mama. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, now he feels confident, my dear. I love this so much. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, let's go. Good luck, guys. Let's finish this. Once for all. Vansama, they're coming. Be ready for that. Thank you, Avan. Look at how they are great. Uh, your students, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a rocket. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Now the destiny of this story, it's in your head. And thank you, Meruro. It was all thanks to you. <laughs> yeah! Let's finish them all. Oh. That's pretty dark and gloomy. Mama! You can't make that face now! <laughs> Come on, it's time to react uh, now. Think about it later. Well, but Leona is so pretty, huh? <laughs> he changed, huh? <laughs> Yeah. I know. But you are starting thinking, I guess. Oh, 
Poor diet. <laughs> oh, die has a mission. He doesn't care right now about these things. <laughs> Later, it will be your turn, Leona. Yeah, yeah, it will be so homoshiroi. <laughs> Oh. Oh. What does that mean? Uh Oh no way! Where did Oh the Oriarcon and the others they went away? No! So the Oriarcon they are going to confront the others as I was expecting actually. He's against uh, which member of the Oriarco? I'm curious. Oh, the horse! So Leona is, or Mama is against the Queen? Huh? Oh my... I thought the Hunker was going against him instead. Oh, let's see, Hunker against her? Come on, show us. No! The easiest one! What? What a waste! Uh, oh, I thought the sound one more, I mean, stronger. Oh! What about Leona and Mama? Oh, this is so hard. So Leona is against the uh, block? No, wait. Who's missing here? No, wait, wait, what was the other one? Yeah, but Leona is not strong enough to defeat one of them, I guess. I mean, that, it's not because I don't believe in her, but... <gasps> yes, Leona! What the... Oh no, Leona! Oh, okay. But they don't show us Leona. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay! Actually, Bl Block was defeated already. He was sacrificing himself or something. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Thank you, Gome-chan. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But we could, we can't defeat Vansama in an instance, so then you have time still. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Hadora. Why are you. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, no, you can't do it, Leona. Oh! <laughs> He's burning! No, you can't. Yes. Yeah, he's going to protect you, Leona, so it's better if you move. Oh, yeah. It's fair. Okay, it's fair because it was his mission since the beginning. Yeah. Okay. When are you going to tell him uh, uh, that you love him? Uh, I hope one day you'll say it. Uh, also because... Yeah, but he has to, to avenge even Avan. Oh. It's fair, it has to finish like this, so I agree. I really like the intensive power Hadora has. I think he's even scarier than Van Sama. Blue versus red. Leona, move away from there. Yeah. Oh, it's starting, yo. Oh. Whoa, Leona. Oh. Mama, be careful, huh? She's the queen, so she's the strongest. Yeah.
Yeah. He's always protecting Hava. He's so loyal. <laughs> He's so proud about that. Oh. Wow, die! And this is for Adam, and this is for this, and this is for that, I mean... That's the best way for him to die. Wow! That's right. Yeah. Mama, be careful, eh? You're risking. Eh? But I agree with you. I don't think she agrees about... She's too close to her. No, no, no! Good. Ah, it is, I told you! No! Move away from there! No! Oh, no! Oh, guys, uh, we are reaching uh, the end of this story. The more we go on, the more we approach it. And I can't wait to see how they will defeat Van Sama. But let me start by saying that Pop, did you see? He changed a lot. And after what happened in the previous episode, you see that his attitude right now is totally different. I really like this. And I'm so happy that Pop could be himself by being uh, even uh, something else because no matter if this courage uh, is a uh, part of him uh, as uh, his power but he had to develop uh, his uh, skills in order to reach it so it's like a journey and now he is in his final stage of his journey so good job pop i really like your eyes because they are expressing determination everything i love it so much and meruru i am so happy you're still alive because it was a waste to lose you the most important thing is that you're still alive thank you so much for what you did for pop they were this was something amazing and pop as i told you in the previous episodes commentary he will never forget about this. So even the fact that he was saying, be sure to save her, that was so brilliant. Uh, I really love uh, all these uh, uh, features and all these uh, things in this episode. Meruru, if it was not for you, probably the story would have been different. So as you can see, even in this story, these uh, um, secondary characters that are becoming even uh, more important than anybody else or these secondary characters that are about to change the story and turn it upside down, this is so great. Uh, yeah, many people in the comments were telling me that this uh, reminds them of Naruto and Hinata. Yes, I can agree with that, but 
Look, uh, at the end of the day, I don't think that Popo will stay with uh, Meruru, or if it's happening like this, I'm so happy for both of them, but I think that Popo already decided uh, where his heart is going, so... I think that that's a little bit different because at the end of the day, Naruto married Hinata. But in that moment, yeah, when she was sacrificing herself against pain for Naruto, definitely you could see that Naruto, after what happened to her, he turned into a simple beast. <laughs> and I'm so happy that even a pop in this case uh, did uh, almost the same thing, even if uh, it was. Um, in a different way, let's say. But Meruru, congrats. Uh, you opened uh, Pop's heart uh, and you have uh, this uh, huge importance uh, here in this uh, story that it's not something irrelevant, totally the opposite. Zapoed, I'm so happy that they could defeat you and you didn't uh, make it. Um, this is what you deserve and I can't wait uh, to see how much you will be defeated. I will be here making a standing ovation <laughs> in that moment. Okay, now we are reaching the moment in which I was telling you already many episodes ago. That means uh, that all uh, these uh, Dai's friends are about to confront uh, the Hori Harukon, uh, while Dai is going to confront Hadora. Okay, let me be honest, I really like this match. I mean, I think that it's really, really fair, because Hadora promised to himself that he wanted to confront Dai till the rest of his existence, because he had to prove himself that he could beat him. And let me open a bracket. I think that Hadora already knows that he is not a match for Dai. But I think it's totally fair for him to end his existence like this, because... This is how they are playing fairly, and I really like Hadora. This characteristic uh, uh, reminds me of Jojo, too, because in Jojo, there is always uh, this way to play fairly between the enemy and uh, the protagonist. So I totally understand uh, Hadora's decision, and I'm so sorry that he couldn't join them to defeat Vansama, but as he said, he has a time limit, and he can't... Uh, choose. I mean, if he has to choose, of course, he prefers to defeat Dai, and this makes you understand how Dai is so strong in Hadora's opinion. This is something amazing, because he could have said, okay, anyway, I can defeat you, let's do it later, because who cares? No, Hadora is giving him the priority, and this is super amazing. And let me tell you another thing, I really like these sort of a relationship that the Hori Harukon are having with Hadora, because they are really loyal, especially the uh, weakest one. Sorry, I don't remember his, his name, Enmu, Enmuru, okay, or something like that, I'm so sorry. He's really loyal to Hadora, and no matter what he's saying or what the other Ori Haruko members are saying to try to oppose Hadora's idea, then he's always going to protect him. He's going to say, look, we have to follow Hadora somehow. No, look, we have to believe in him, etc., etc., etc. So I really like the fact that even if they are enemies from a Dai's friends and Dai's point of view, but at the same time, they could create this sort of a bond with Hadora that is really really important because their actions are the reflection of their loyalty. So absolutely I think that that was really great too. One thing, uh, I thought that Hyunkeru at this point was confronting the horse and uh, Mama was confronting maybe, yeah, the easiest one, the easiest to be defeated, while uh, Hyunker was about to defeat the queen, but at this point I really like that the author decided to mix everything because I think that even if Mamo right now is in a hard situation, she will be able to make it. As much as a pop, of course, will be able to defeat the horse, especially now that he granted lots of power and lots of confidence in himself. While, okay, for Hunker, I think to defeat um, that member of Hori Harukon will not be so difficult. Maybe, or maybe I'm just underestimating him. It could be. I like they, that they inverted the positions. 
and yeah let's see what's going to happen then another thing that i liked was dice the resilience and dice determination why look at leo Yes, I can't wait that he is going to confess his love to her or that she is going to confess her love to him. Can't wait and I hope that the author didn't miss this. Huh? I really want to see that scene. Huh? Please uh, tell me that it's going to happen. Okay, don't tell me anything. But I really like the, the fact that he wanted to impose his authority and stop her because he knows that no matter how much... Uh, Leona is trying to convince Hadora and what she said was good was right but Hadora doesn't have a uh, time to waste so I understand him but at the same time I understand the Dai and when he was uh, turning uh, to talk to Leona that seemed to me Baran he has the same face the same attitude especially when he needs to protect somebody who is dear to him and that's why of course uh, Leona was melting because <laughs> when she saw how kakoi I was in that moment uh, what do we have to do here <laughs> but let me say that now the final battles are starting now it's time to finish this story in the best way and I can't wait to join these moments because they will be so emotional uh, so powerful last but not least I wanted to praise the OST even uh, for this uh, second part uh, and in fact I can't wait that this story is finished so even a part two of the OST will come out and then I'm going to buy them both uh, because uh, I really like uh, the, the music uh, they made for this story it's uh, definitely emotional and simply great um, yeah okay guys i think for this super amazing episode that that is it i hope you enjoyed and stay tuned because next week i come back with episode 69 of dragon quest the adventure of Dai. in the meantime feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell let's see what's going to happen between hadora and Dai. i'm so curious thank you so much for the support bye guys see you in the next video